Happy Wednesday, gang. Here is our warm up. We got Iman by eight minutes. So you can go through this two times. Minute one, 40 second cardio choice. Then minute two, 20 seconds of dumbbell deadlifts. Then 20 seconds of kettlebell swings. Minute three, 20 seconds of bootstrappers. Then 20 seconds of slow air squats. And finish it out with 40 seconds of slow dead bugs. All right, guys, y'all know our cardio options. We got jump jacks. You can go high knees. You can go mountain climbers. You can also run outside, guys, if it is a nice day, or jump rope, up to you. Let's just get that heart rate up. Then you got 20 seconds of dumbbell deadlift, so grab your dumbbell, hold by each end. Remember, we're cry chopping, we're hinging forward, and then we're dropping our hips after we pass our knees. Squeezing our glutes on the way up. Make sure we're practicing great form here, guys, because practice with great form, you'll have great form. Then you got 20 seconds of kettlebell swings. So this is the same minute. Squeeze your glutes, push those hips back, 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 and pop them forward right there. Then minute three, 20 seconds of bootstrappers. So get a good stretch in your hamstrings by reaching for your toes, reaching for your shoes. Get a good stretch, hold for a second, then drop those hips down low. Get a good stretch at the bottom of the squat right there. And go back and forth in between these two for 20 seconds. And then the next 20 seconds you got slow air squats so what we want to see here is just controlled not specifically a tempo if you want to give yourself a tempo go for it but just controlled focused movements focus on the muscle groups that you're working and breathe out on the way up then finish out with 40 seconds of slow dead bugs so down on the ground those hands overhead and pull those shoulders off the ground and then you go opposite hand, opposite leg, slowly extend, reset. Boom, right there. Make sure you're going slow and controlled with these. Make your core work. If this is easy, pull those shoulders off the ground even more and go even slower. That is our warm up gang for a workout. We got some legs for y'all. On a 10 minute running clock, we got four by six front squats. And then in between every set, you got five pistol squats on each leg, and we'll show you a couple different options for that. Then you got an arm wrap by 13 minutes, one minute of cardio, five single arm front rack squats on the right, 15 overhead kettlebell swings, American overhead kettlebell swings, and then same front rack squats, five reps on the left arm. All right, guys, our front squats. So... For our first portion, we're gonna have that dumbbell across our shoulders, elbows nice and high. Nice deep squat. Breathing out on the way up, making sure we fill our lungs up with air before we go down, and then we're releasing as we come up, using that as some of our power to come up right there. Then we got those five and five pistol squats. So if you, got, if you can do pistol squats, great, go for it. Um, but this is a very challenging movement, so we'd recommend the first option being maybe grab a chair, a bench, something, go nice, slow, control down to your chair or bench, tap, and come straight back up. And you're going to try to do all five on one leg, then all five on the next leg. The next option, if this is a little too hard for you, go down the same way and fully sit down on the bench and then use a little momentum to come up. So notice he kind of rocked back up right there guys and then the next and last option try to go down single leg nice slow and controlled reset those feet and then stand up like a normal squat but really focus on your glutes as you stand up in that normal squat um but notice how he was going nice and slow and controlled on the way down guys don't just bust through these get the most out of it then you got that one minute of cardio y'all already saw our cardio choices then five single arm front rack squats. So he's gonna have one arm up in that front rack position, but notice how he's not going down crooked. We see a lot of people when it's, some weight is um, not equally dis distributed, I couldn't say that word. Um, they will go down sideways or they're kind of tuck over like he just showed. Make sure you keep a nice straight plane right there. Both heels are on the ground the whole time. 
Then you got the 15 American overhead kettlebell swings. So you just need to be extra explosive with this, guys. If you have had shoulder injury in the past or this doesn't feel amazing on your shoulder, just go as high as you can without feeling discomfort. We obviously don't want you to have bad pain in this, um, but your goal is to go right overhead, not far behind your head, but right there. And then you're ending with the front rack squats on the other arm, which just the same. All right, guys, go crush it.